It's a video that will melt your heart and also maybe break your heart. We have uh, questions, a lot of questions about this. Who is Flounder? He's a puppy with swimmer's syndrome. If you look here, he can't stand up. It is curable, but will take a lot of time and a lot of money to get him walking. Lori Collins with Lucci's House Bully Rescue rescued Flounder. They're both here this morning to share his story, how you can help at an event coming up too next week. And Lori, um, I want to put, just put him down just so people can see at home exactly like the position and, and what how he was found. You were a rescue. You got called at 9 o'clock at night mm -hmm. um, not too long ago. Tell us the story about how you came to Flounder and, and just what, yeah. what, 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 <laughs> explain what we're seeing. So uh, I got a call or a message from a good friend of mine that she works in rescue and with animal services. Um, and she had been reached out to by a friend of hers that knew a backyard breeder and this little guy was in a whelping box laying sprawled out he has what we call swimmer, swimmer syndrome where he can't use his legs and they sprawl out like that um, and they were going to toss him away which means not humanely put him to sleep and throw him away because they had got all their money off the litter and they couldn't sell him and she asked if we could help well we're overwhelmed and full. So I created a group with uh, Rebecca Stevens and Deanna Allen and a few others, mm -hmm. Heartbeat for Paws, a group yeah. and said, hey guys, we want to take him, but we need help. Because we had never dealt with a puppy like this yeah. and just the care and level of the Hi, expenses were going to be yeah. huge. And we all came together and we got him safe and he's in a great foster home now. Um, he goes to VCA Advanced Veterinary Care in okay. Fishers. Um, he started physical therapy. Will, um, you, will you pick him up and show us yeah. a little bit? Like I know w when you hold him, yep. there's something that you do too that you put him I guess, in a, like a taco, taco. position. Yep. It's called taco time. Okay, so if we see this, yep. we, we so lift him up. If you we pick see him up, this he is how he sprawls out like yeah. that. And that's not normal. So you have to kind of take him on his side yeah. and tuck his legs in. Yeah. Because you want him to be normal like yeah. this. Okay. And this is what we do. And yeah. this is his taco time. And it's uncomfortable for him because yeah. he hasn't had his legs. Mm -hmm. But th this is just one of the many exercises that he has to do several times a day. Is there any timeline? Is every dog different? Could it be a month? Could it be a year? Could it be five years? What, um, do, what do you know? I think the earlier you get started, the better. <laughs> um, yes, I know. Okay. Here, let's do it. It's like a baby. Yep. So we're going to put him this way yeah. and hold his legs down. Okay. And then put his... There you go, buddy. There Aww. we go. I know. Um, it just depends on the dog and obviously the earlier you can get started the better the hard part with him is he laid in that whelping box for he's 12 weeks old now and so for 12 weeks he laid like that and had that disability um, they didn't do anything for him no shots no nothing they just said oh he's defective we'll throw him away so now he has a long road ahead hopefully it's just yeah. a few months <laughs> yeah it's sad. It's it's heartbreaking for you. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go too much into it because I believe there's a case involved because a lot of yeah. people want to know who did this. Why does this happen? It's because of overbreeding. Yep. Um, could this person face charges? Um, possibly. That's our goal is because, you know, you're not this is animal neglect and cruelty and, yeah. you know, not in its worst form, but in its worst yeah. form, if you know what I mean, like he's not outright abusing him. But then again, he is because he left him in a box and was just going to dispose of him. You are, do so much. The bills, I mean, t you have tens of thousands of dollars in bills. You have hundreds of dogs that you're taking care of. There's a big event coming up. Yes. And one of the reasons why we wanted to have you come in, because <laughs> right. it's a really cool event, the Halloween Jeep Creep yes. at uh, Lockhart Cadillac of Greenwood. Tell us about that coming up Saturday, October 28th. So um, a week from Saturday, we'll start at Lockhart. And Jeep, not only Jeeps, but other vehicles yeah. are welcome too. But all the Jeeps that come will decorate, and then they'll bring their puppers, hopefully, and have costumes. And we'll go to different stops. So... Um, the Lockhart Cadillac, Wits in in Whiteland. Um, there's a the Apple Farm. Mm -hmm. I think we're going there and a couple other places, and we'll just have prizes and lots of fun stuff to do. There'll be like a poker run, so the Jeeps can win stuff, okay. and then we will give out awards for best costume for humans, doggies, and oh. Jeeps alike. You, Lori, you are amazing. <laughs> um, you do so many great things. We're out of time, but I wanted to also let you know that Flounder he has a wish list. He yes. has he wears diapers. He has all <laughs> kinds of things that he needs. Um, there's a wish list from Amazon, Fox59.com/slash/AngelaAnswers. It will be there if you want to just help out to um, Lucci's Bully House Rescue. Um, they'll take donations as well. So yep. Lori Collins is one of the best around. I can <laughs> vouch for her. Thank, um, thank you so much for Thanks. all you do. Yeah.